So in this video, we are just going to look at uh, the binary search. Okay, so binary search. So the binary search mechanism is nothing but it just follows uh, and kind of an approach called as divide and conquer approach. So divide and conquer generally what it does is that it just divides the entire problem into uh, sub problems and then the sub problems will be uh, solved recursively to uh, do it. So for example instead of searching the entire list what we do is that we just identify the mid element and then we just subdivide the entire list into two parts and then we are just going to solve it. Okay. So here also we are just having a list of elements which is nothing but n uh, which means starting with 0 to n minus 1 and we are going to have an search key so search key is nothing but it is the element which is used to be uh, which is used to search from the given list okay so here we will have to come across with the three kind of pointers so the first pointers will be your left and then the next one will be r which is nothing but it represents your right and then the next one will be your mid so mid represents the mid element out of your given list okay so these are the three important pointers which you have to come across with and then uh, the conditions is something like uh, so if it matches so here the search key matches with uh, your key element we have to return the position of it okay so the next condition is if it is greater if the element is greater uh, what we do is so we just assign our l with mid plus 1 right so if it is greater now left will be assigned with m plus mid plus 1 and if it is uh, lesser means your R will be allocated with mid minus one. So, okay. So these are the conditions which you have to follow. So what are the conditions? So if you are just going to check with the search key, if it matches, we just return the position. Okay. So if the particular uh, value is uh, greater, what we have to do is that we just have to assign the L with mid plus one. If the value turns out to be smaller, what we have to do is that we just have to assign your R with mid minus one. So these are the conditions which we have to follow inside our binary search mechanism. So again, uh, what we do over here is that we just look at with an example right now, right? So here I'll just go with 3, 14, 27, 31, 39 and 40. So here the most important thing which you have to look at is that uh, the element to be searched or the list which we have given should be in a shorted manner which means that it has to be given in an ascending order so this is one of the most important thing which we have to uh, which we have to keep in our mind while writing our binary search mechanism so the list which we are having should be in a shorted manner so if you just look at the list so it is in an ascending order starting with 3 and ending with 40 okay so similarly we just shall consider certain any key element to be searched for example here i just identify the key element as 40 so the last element I'm just uh, uh, keeping it as it okay so what I have to do is that the step one what I will be doing is that I will be calculating my mid value so mid value is nothing but my L plus R divided by 2 okay so here the first element will be your left L and then the last element will be your R so for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 you are having six elements inside the list so what we do is that we just get something like 6 by 2 what you will be getting it you will be getting it as 3 right so what is your th third element so we have to consider our third element as the mid element which is nothing but uh, 27 is our mid element right now okay so what we do is we just take 27 and then we just compare it with okay uh, with the search element which is nothing but key which is equals to 40 we just have to compare it right now okay so what are the conditions we have to follow so we have to follow these three conditions so if while comparing if it is equal we have to return it if it is greater we have to alter it and then if it is lesser also we have to alter your r right so if we look at the particular value so we just get 40 as greater right so it is a greater value so what you have to do is that you just have to implement this mechanism which is nothing but we have to change our l to mid minus one sorry mid plus one right so in step two what i do okay so just consider the same list so 3 14 27 31 39 and 40 is there right so here what has happened is that so my l right so my l has changed to mid plus one so my l has changed to m plus one which is nothing but 
31. So right now my current uh, L is 31 and my R is 40. Okay. So how many number of elements are there? 1, 2, 3 number of elements are there. So 3 divided by 2 which will be uh, 1.5. Right. So we will be either rounding up or rounding down. So here we just shall round it up. So if we are rounding it up, we just get the value as 2. Right. So what we are going to do is uh, we just fix it as the mid element. Okay, so we just have uh, identified our mid element as 39, right? So what am I going to do is that I just have to compare again. So compare my mid element. Okay, so I'm just going to take my mid element and I'm just going to compare it with my key. So here 39 and I'm just comparing it with 40. So here also we just have to consider these three terms. So if it is equal, we just return greater lesser condition. Okay, so if we just look at this particular thing, we just get our, we just get a glimpse that uh, it is going to be greater, right? So here also what we have to do, we just have to change our mid right so here in the step 3 what I do is I just change the value right so taking into the step 3 so 3 okay 14 27 31 39 40 over here so what I have to do is that I just have to change my left to mid plus 1 so what I am doing I am just changing my left to mid plus 1 which is nothing but so 40 right now so my L and R both represents the last term right so what I do right now is that I just take the single element which is being present right now 40 and I just compare with the key element so when I am comparing with the key element what has happened is that it is equal so what I do is that I just return element position okay so whenever I just find out the element what I do is that I just return the position of it okay so once after uh, I just find it out I just stop my procedure why because is that once after the element is being found there is no need for you to continue with the operation right so this is how we just uh, go with the procedure working procedure so right now what we shall do is that uh, we just shall look at the algorithm okay so so algorithm always begins with the keyword algorithm right so binary search I just have acronym that okay so here also we just having uh, the list of elements starting with 0 to n minus 1 and then I will be having the search element as k so the description will be something like implementing a binary search right uh, so here my input is going to be something like a list of n elements and I am just going to give an another term called as search key right so search key I will be uh, giving it out okay so what am I going to get as an output so I will be uh, getting it as either index of element or I will be getting minus one. So these are the two elements which I will be getting as an output. Okay. So here what I do initially I just assign my left as zero and my right as n minus one. So which is nothing but the first element and the last element. Okay. So while L less than or equals to R do. Right. Okay. So M what I do is that I just calculate the mid value such as uh, left plus right divided by 2 so this is my going to be my uh, mid value I just calculate it okay so what I do next is I just take the key value if key value is equals to a of m okay so if the key value is equals to the mid value so what we do is that we just return m which is nothing but the position of your mid element or else what we do is we just change the value of your k to a minus sorry a of m right and then uh, if it is greater we are just checking the condition if your k is uh, greater than uh, thing what we have to do we just have to assign your r with mid minus one right so else what we do oh, sorry so else what we do is that we just as change our l with mid plus one so if it is lesser we are changing the right value if it is greater we are changing the left value and then we are just returning with minus one right so if the particular element is not found we just return it with minus one so the complexity will be something like uh, 
okay so each and every time the value reduces itself by half of its length right so your uh, uh, average term will be something like we go off average term of n will be uh, tending to logarithmic 2 of n because why because is that each and every uh, n number of operations which you are going to perform what happens is that it just decreases the size by half of its length so we just use logarithmic 2 of n so this is how you just perform or this is how you just solve your binary search algorithm